So now let us see how we can work with version controls inside of Dropbox. So for that, I'm going to go to my PC right over here, and then I'm going to navigate onto the Dropbox folder. And you can see right over here that I got a test Excel file right over here. So I'm going to make a few changes to this. So let me just open up the file, and you can see that the uh, file has been opened up uh, in um, in Excel. And you can see this little Dropbox icon over there as well, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So you can see right here, I got tests right over here. Let me just remove these tests out and then change this to red right over here and press Control S. So that saves out the Dropbox file right over here. And you can see that it is uploading right over here. Now it has been uploaded as the green check mark has appeared. So now, what if I want the previous file then? So in that case, what I can do is I can right click over here and then I can see the version history. So as Dropbox is already installed on my computer, you can see that version history is an option right over here. So I can click on version history right over there and then it'll open up uh, my web browser right over here will be where I'll be able to access the version history of the file. So you can see that today I edited this out right over here. So if I were to open this file right now, it's like this. But what if I replace the file then? So if I replace the file, then the version history will, will make sure that I have the old file back. So I'm just going to go around here and then I'm going to replace it with the previous version of the file right over here. Let's say, for example, this is the current version. So if I want the version that I was working with previously, I can simply go on to the previous version. As you can see, click on restore and restore right over here. And once I restore it out, what happens is that it restores the file and over here it is re-uploaded right over here. So now let's see what file I, I have. So you still, you, now you can see that I have the previous file now, so I have the previous file right now, it has been loaded. So I can just go to the version history right over here. So if I want to revert back, I can right click. I can go to version history right over there and change out to a different version that I had. So if I were to make, let's say for example, some mistakes, so I want to uh, change it out, I can restore it out right over here. So I'm restoring out to the one that I currently changed and then it'll upload, get uploaded right over here and the file will get updated. So if I were to update it now, you can see that new file version has been updated just like that. And that is how uh, you can work with version history inside of Dropbox. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.